In this example, we want to find and classify all equilibrium solutions to the autonomous equation dy dt is y minus 1 times cosine of y. So the graph here is obviously tricky to sketch because it's going to be a cosine function, going to offset up and down, and multiplied by a y minus 1. So anything you want to look for is where is this function 0? Right, here's a function f of y. I'm looking for the zeros of this function. So f of y is 0 either when y equals 1 from this first term or when cosine of y equals 0. And where does that happen? That happens at pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, the negative direction. This happens at pi over 2 plus n pi for any integer n. So let's start drawing a phase line here. And I will have zeros from the cosine part at minus pi over 2, minus 3 pi over 2, and so on, and as well as at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. From the y equals 1, I obviously get one more solution at y equals 1, which is somewhere around here. Now our best bit here is probably to plug in values and see what happens in between these points. So if I plug in y equals 0, I get y minus 1, that's negative 1 or negative, and cosine of 0 is 1. So this whole thing will be negative at y equals 0, so there I will have a down arrow. If I plug in, say, negative pi, I'll get something very negative here, negative 1 minus pi is, is negative, times cosine of pi, which is negative 1, therefore this will be positive. And now, everything that's below 1 will always have the y minus 1 being negative, since cosine always switches signs at every 0, it always goes plus, then minus, then plus, then minus, we know this is going to alternate forever, heading down in this direction. The same thing happens on the other end, but I get one extra switch from the y equals 1 term. So if I plug in something slightly bigger than 1, that's still less than pi over 2, y minus 1 will be positive, and cosine will also still be positive because it stays positive all the way up to pi over 2. So this will be an up arrow here, and again, cosine switches at every 0. So I'll get them down here, up here, down here, and so on. So what do we see for these solutions? Well, we see that y equals 1 is unstable. Right, that we get just by looking at the picture right here. Both arrows are going away from y equals 1. Let's make a tail for the other one and see where we can put them. So unstable versus stable. We see that pi over 2 fits in the stable category, as does minus pi over 2. Both 3 pi over 2s, plus and minus, are both unstable, right? Going away, going away. If we keep this pattern going, both 5 pi over 2s are going to be stable. Both 7 pi over 2s will be unstable, and this pattern repeats. So in the end, we have y equals 1 is unstable. We have y equals plus or minus pi over 2, plus or minus 5 pi over 2, plus or minus 9 pi over 2, and so on if you want a more closed form plus or minus pi over 2 plus 2n pi are asymptotically stable. And on the other side, 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, or plus or minus 3 pi over 2 plus 2n pi are unstable. This is a harder one to write out just because there's an infinite number of equilibrium solutions here, but the idea is the same. Look at the phase line, look where things are going in or out, and use that to determine whether things are stable or unstable.